Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here, and today we've got another fun tree species. Uh, it's a really common one that we find a lot. It's a native tree. This is our river birch, or Betula nigra. Uh, really wonderful native tree species that is being used more and more, and we'll talk about why, particularly at this site, uh, but it's a, just a, such a cool tree species. And you can see it's even home to some wildlife. We've got some kind of hawk up there yelling at me. <laughs> um, so let's take a closer look at this tree species and learn about some of the ways that this is actually a really wonderful tree. So the leaves are pretty nondescript, almost like a poplar, um, you know, so somewhat serrated edges, and they've got some fine hairs on the underside. And if you remember, from our sycamore video. We'll see if I'll, I'll give you a second to see if you can remember what these are called. These are called trichomes. So they're essentially little hairs on the underside of the leaf and they help slow down the air. So it helps keep the tree from losing too much water too quickly. Really cool uh, evolutionary trait and super interesting to see on some of these tree species. But river birches aren't really known for their leaves. What they are known for is this beautiful, papery, peely bark. Um, so iconic. You know, it, it starts out kind of gray. It can be kind of rough like this. And then can just peel away to a really smooth, light, almost peach-colored surface underneath. Such a cool characteristic. Um, you know, it's not explicitly an ornamental tree. It's typically planted more as a shade tree. But that is one of those ornamental qualities that is really cool. Um, so you can use it as an ornamental if you want. Frankly, you can use any tree as an ornamental because I think they're all beautiful. But another great characteristic of this tree species. Now, in addition to that, uh, you may notice that this tree has a couple different trunks. So we've got about three on this one. Uh, that one over there has four. And I think there's another one over there that has three. Uh, so they do grow multi-stemmed in a lot of scenarios, uh, but you can also find them single-stemmed. So this is another one of those that uh, has some variability, kind of like a crepe myrtle, where they can grow multi-stemmed or single-stemmed uh, successfully either way. It really just depends on where you're planting it. Now, if I were planting this tree on a street, in a tree lawn, some are a little bit more compact with a lot more traffic pedestrians, I would go for the single stem. That way you don't have it branching out as much, staying a little bit more straight and upright, and it's not spreading too much. Uh, but perfectly acceptable for here. Uh, and we're at Mother Matilda Beasley Park, just FYI. And related to that, another great char characteristic of river birches, hence the name, is they don't mind a little bit of water near them. They can stand some you know, ephemeral flooding. They don't like to be in standing water, but they don't mind uh, some water nearby, you know, occasionally soaking their roots. Um, and we can see over here, there's actually a really low lying area here at Mother Matilda Beasley. And this area can flood pretty frequently. So uh, planting river birches along the edge of this can help stabilize the soil, help absorb some of that water, and it also helps keep the tree healthy. So really a win-win all around with these tree species, planting them on the edge of riparian areas. Um, and we can see there's a, a bald cypress right in the middle. Those, those really like water. They don't mind it at all. So that's kind of a, a more extreme case of water tolerance. Now, I do want to mention uh, river birches are pretty cool. They're becoming more and more common. And because of that, tree species that become more common tend to get more cultivars. You know, we find ones that we really like and we want to reproduce those characteristics so that they're uh, available to more people. And there's one in particular that's available right now. It's called Dura Heat, and hence the name. It can actually stand quite a bit of heat and drought tolerance as well. So that is really cool. You can find a river birch that will actually get you the best of both worlds. It can tolerate some water, can tolerate some drought, give you some nice shade, and have some beautiful bark characteristics. So a really neat tree species. Again, a native one, one that we're seeing used more and more. So it's a, it's a great tree species and I wanted it to be the focus of our video today. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.